that we are no longer looking into the eyes of the, of the sheep and believing that we are, in fact, more sheep than dogs. We do that by what Ellis has talked about in terms of energy and motion. That concept is important when, you know, sometimes we have these conferences, we do the, we, we sit back and think about the titles more in terms of if it's catchy and exotic that we get people to come to, and not that it has meaning and guidelines for us to move forward. It has a meaning and a guideline that I want to, uh, to work through with you in terms of this notion of energy and motion because the energy and motion really is a euphemism for understanding the African spirit. That's what the energy and motion is about. It's about understanding the African spirit, and that understanding of the African spirit is what is being driven or, or worked through. We're struggling with these issues. When it's not finalized, but the, in quote, Afrocentric scholars, the African-centered scholars are struggling with trying to understand this notion of energy and spirit and power as conceptualized in the African tradition. Not as, again, a romantic uh, moment of masturbation with the past. It is, in fact, it is, in fact, a life necessity for us to understand what are the templates and the blueprints that we can pull out and utilize, as Nyan was saying, in terms of having the ideal. The ideal gives us the guide and the groundwork for building the future. So, my question. In this modern time, in 2022, closer to 2023, with the conditions that we have now, the mindsets that we have now, everything currently what it is now. We is trying to return to an African-centered way of living the most conducive thing for us in this present moment. Not saying we don't need elements and concepts of it, but does it need to be a return to African to to our African ways that we that we existed in the on the continent in the in the 1400s and, and long back and even African customs and traditions that exist to date, is it more conducive for us to try to return to them, or is it more conducive for us to take the tradi take African traditions and be able to meld them into our because we we over here in America meld them into our American ways of existing here and be as Africanized as we can be because we're still incorporating African tradition and culture, but it's still going to be intertwined with who we are here in America because we are kind of far removed from that. So we do have this unique culture that we've been able to um, create out of what we've been given here. So will it be more conducive to try to return to these ways or take some of these traditions and meld them with the culture and the things that we have now and fit and being able, being able to fix where we are now with that and move forward. And that's a question I think everybody is going to have to ask for themselves. And then we are going to have to answer that as a collective. I'm on record and, you know, people don't like it, but it is what it is. I think that people that are trying to take us back to ancient Africa, are just as bad as the people that are pretending like slavery never happened. Um, I think there is this, this strong will to not be black, to not be a black American. So whether I claim myself to be a displaced African or I claim myself to be a Native American or whatever else, we have this strong desire to disassociate from our history and who we are right here in America. We are a people that has never existed before. Mm -hmm. We are one of the, if not the youngest groups, cultural groups of people on the planet. Mm -hmm. We can pull from all over Africa, but here's the problem. There are thousands of cultures on Africa and not all of them are going to resonate with all of us because not all of us pull our genetic lineage from those places. So it puts mm -hmm. us in a difficult situation where if we try to go back to a specific place in Africa, there are going to be a group of us that's just not going to job with that. Maybe we aren't from there. Maybe our roots are from one of the things we can all connect on 
is our American heritage. The black folk that existed right here in America that went through what they went through, I often say slavery was our origin story. And that's how we need to accept it. In my opinion, slavery was the birth of a new type of person, right? We yeah. are the outgrowth of that birth. Those decisions culminated in us. So yes, we can look back at what, what those people were before slavery to get some idea of what those people were and, and what might be connected to us. But when we're looking at us, right? We are, in my opinion, just as much African as the Europeans. And I know that bothers people when I say it, but it is what it is. They migrated up out of Africa in some theories and other theories they developed um, separately you know, to the, 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 the development of modern humans in Africa. Um, but at some point they went down there and they got a whole bunch of stuff and then they took it back to wherever they was. Our black people sent it up to them. It's a bunch of different theories on it, but here's what I'm getting at. We're so far removed from those people in Africa, those cultures in Africa that for the vast majority of us, they're foreign. But yeah, And that's not something you can just wipe away by saying, well, we got the same skin color. It's not that simple. So in my opinion, this is goes back to what I was saying earlier. We have to really take the time to develop who we are. It's the same as when you talk to a child and you tell that child, you need to figure out who you're going to be in life. And you need to figure that out soon. That's where black people are. We need to figure out who we're going to be in life because culturally and socially speaking, we are that child. We're fucking preteens coming into our teenage years. And instead of us trying to figure out who we going to be, we're looking at these fantasized versions of grandma and grandpa. So I, I don't think it's anything wrong with us being black people in america i don't think that because it's not it's it's no different from being black anywhere else in the world and understanding how you were how you came up how you how you became this group of people in this specific part of the world within these cultures within the cities wherever you exist because we are black we do have a connection to the African continent to African people to African cultures. The problem is we just don't know what that connection is. That's one of the biggest issues. Like you say, we right. so far removed. We so far removed from the connection. The connection is foreign because we're so far removed. And at this point, unless your family or some people, whatever, was able to keep some type of records, you really have no idea. But that doesn't mean that our, that to me, that doesn't diminish our blackness and blackness as far as consciousness globally but also we still have that connection to africa we still have that connection to african people we just have no idea how it's connected you know here's 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 my view on that right it's been proven that in the brain the past and the future are connected right mm -hmm. people that have amnesia have a difficult time predicting their future or even planning for the future because we use our past to 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 kind of dictate what is possible for us in the future for those of us that have no past black people in america the vast majority of us we could keep digging around in the fog and, and picking stuff up and saying, hey, yeah, this looked like me and I think this was it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I do think there's value in that. Or we could try to do it the other way. We could instead look to our future and say, I want to be like this, this, and this. These are the future qualities that are beneficial well, yeah. to me in this way, this way, and this way. And then use that to look back at the past and say, what other people have historically felt like these things were necessary for them to be who they are. And then we could draw a connection to those people in that way, instead of drawing it from the past 
to the future, we could draw it from the future to the past, which to me makes more sense because we can actually plan and dictate our future based off where we are in the present. And we know our present is dictated by our past. So we're still making the connection. It's just right. instead of going one way with it, we're going, going the other up. way. Well, with yeah, it. I mean, we, we're not, we saying the same thing. No, you know, I, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. I'm just saying, I know every time I say we're so wrapped up and being African that we forget about who we are here. And then the other thing happens, right? We start to think that Africans, the, 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 the 57 different countries, thousands of cultures, all that other stuff, did they feel the same way? And then we start to get disillusioned with them when you find out they don't right and, it's and like, that's what's going on now that's right. what's going on now between right. between the the black people in america the fba and black people who are not from america even fba and ados we we basically found another reason to fight which right. goes back to what he's been saying <laughs> We, we've been rearranged because we all even even in this so-called consciousness and getting out of this consciousness and doing all this and doing that and finding our blackness here and finding our blackness there we still find a reason to fight with right. not if it's not if it's not black people who are, who are who have our origins in america we find a way to fight with black people from other places but but here is something you always say right that fighting is human nature yep humans fight yep the problem is usually humans fight, groups fight against groups, right? When they can identify as a group, they have shared traits. Something mm -hmm. about it makes them connect to each other. The problem with black people in America is we don't have those defining traits. And it's not that we don't have them, it's that we spend so much time looking at everything other than ourselves like yep. even when we do take yep. a critic and we're doing it right now even when we do take a critical stance on black people and what it means to be black is usually a way of taking a shot at another type of black person um and i say we're doing it right now because a lot of people would view it that way in my view i'm saying look instead of us constantly looking back and saying we need to be african in this way we need to identify what we need to be right now for this place, time, and culture we live in. And then we need to group together around that to deal with the issues we have now. And we can look back. Then, after we figured out who we are, look back and find yourself then. To me, that makes more sense. That's just me, though.